For this video, I'm going to be talking about multiplying and dividing integers, okay? I just want to review the commutative property of multiplication, remembering, you know, A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. Uh, my blue is going to represent positive integers, and my red is going to uh, represent negative integers. All right, so multiplication first. 4 multiplied by negative 2. So we know in multiplication, you know, it talks about I have groups of certain things in it. So at, right now I have four groups. My negatives, my, my uh, positive is blue. So I have four groups. This is how I'd represent it. And I have two negatives in each. Right? Uh, and so if I add all of those together, I have eight negatives. So negative eight. Now, we know because we're very smart, that 4 multiplied by 2 gets us 8. What we're trying to figure out is if the answer is going to be positive or negative. So as we move through this, I want you to see if you can sense a pattern in uh, the multiplication and division and in the answers. Uh, negative 4 multiplied by negative 2 um, is going to equal positive 8. And I'm going to leave this representation here. I want to go through these other ones, and then we'll see if we can come up for a re representation uh, of a model to show why it is positive 8. All right, so 4, so positive 4 divided by negative 2. So I, I have 4 positives, and I'm going to divide it into negative 2 groups, which we know, how can we divide something into a negative 2 group? So we're going to use that opposite integer rule. So the opposite integers are their distance from zero, right? So eight, the opposite integer of positive eight is negative eight, because it's the same number of steps to get to zero. Positive two is negative two, and you know, uh, positive five, negative five, you can see equal distance back to zero. So I'm going to use that opposite integer rule, and I'm going to use the opposite integer of negative two. So positive four divided by positive two, I know um, is going to give me two groups with two in it. So if that equal, if that answer equals two, when I use the opposite integer rule, um, I'm going to use the opposite integer rule for my answer. So if the answer equals two, um, it's actually negative two. And again, four divided by two, we know is two. We're just trying to figure out if it's positive or negative. All right, so negative 4 divided by negative 2. This representation gets a little tricky, right? Because you're dividing negatives by negatives, and how do you divide negatives into groups and things like that. So I'm going to go to my number line. When we're dividing a number, the goal is we're dividing up that amount until we have nothing left, right? So we're dividing it up into equal groups until we have nothing left. So in integers, we can think about that as we're trying to get back to 0, all right? So let's say our zero is here, because it is. This is positive one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, okay? So I have negative four, and I'm trying to divide it in a way to get back to zero. I'm gonna divide it into how many groups of negative two integers I have, right? So I have, what's my name, red? So I have one group here of two and one group here of two, and that gets me back to zero, all right? So I have two groups when I divide negative four divided by negative two, it's going to get me, sorry, I have two groups, positive two, okay? I'm gonna do this one again, so let's say I have uh, negative 10 divided by negative 5, okay? Again, I'll use my number line, right? 0, 1, here's my positive integers over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, sing with me, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, okay? So I'm trying to divide up my negative 10 in equal groups so that I can get back to zero, right? So um, how many, you know, if I'm going to do groups of negative 5, 
do, 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 do. So here's one group. One, two, three, four, five. And here's, right? So I end up with two groups. One, two, okay? All right, um, so looking at, back to representation of a negative uh, m multiplied by a negative, I wanna see if you can come up with a representation. You can use number lines, you can use um, um, the, the integer models like we've been using uh, to see if you can come up with a representation for multiplying negative integers. But let's get to the pattern. What have we noticed? So when I multiply a positive by a negative, I get a negative. When I multiply a negative by a negative, I get a positive. When I divide a positive by a negative, I get a negative. And when I divide a negative by a negative, I get a positive. Can anyone make any observations as to uh, the different integers that are involved in multiplication and division? If we look, there's always two positive, sorry, two negatives and a positive, one positive, all right? So if your equation has two negatives in it, you know your answer is going to be positive. If it has one positive and one negative, you know your answer is going to be negative, all right? So that's just a, a, a tool to use um, to kind of compress that understanding. But also you want to be able to represent the different operations if you're asked to justify your thinking.